What up, y'all? It's Trent Hendrix here, coming to y'all with another video. Today, let's talk about the Keymaster game. All right, so let's get started. You guys probably already know what the Keymaster game is. It's very popular now at all sneaker stores type of thing. You guys have probably seen it on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, anything like that. Most stores put in very exclusive sneakers. Usually charge about like $5 a game. If you get it, if you win, you get the shoe, clearly. Obviously, it's not as easy as you think it is, but I must tell you, I have one. I'll give you guys a few seconds to see my little collection over there. It's only about half my collection, don't worry. Uh, but one of those pairs of shoes, I have one. So I'll give you guys a few seconds. Yup, if you guessed right, it was the Supreme Foam Posits. I got these from Essential Toronto. It was $5 a game there. I spent $110, was below retail, so it was still a huge steal. These go for about $900 Canadian. I'll show you a picture of us, me and my boy Denz. You guys seen him in my other video of us winning on their Instagram. But it's definitely, and it's not as easy as you think. I'll sort of tell you how the game works and everything just now. So the way the game works is that there's three rows. Each row has like a minimum threshold that it has to meet like amount of money spent before it will even allow you to win most people think it's time based like if you know what the key master game is if not just look it up i'll try to explain to you so like there's a little key there's three rows and then there's three like keyholes for each one and you're trying to get the key into the keyhole so people think it's time based because you have to press the button and then it goes up and then you release the button and then it moves forward and tries to get into the hole but the thing is the game won't allow you to win unless the threshold of money spent on that row has been met those motherfuckers so if it's at a thousand dollars like the owner gets to set it at a thousand dollars or whatever whatever they want so until that row has been attempted a thousand dollars worth then it'll allow the person to actually win so it's not time based y'all don't y'all don't gotta sit there and try to time on your phone or have your buddy tell you like oh time time to yo press the button man blah blah blah, blah. yo that's not how it works so save your money you gotta see who's won recently and like that's when you go in and try to win it's all luck but at the end of the day, if you're lucky, you can get a huge steal like this. $110 spent. I'm probably gonna sell these because I don't even like them, but they're, they're grails to a lot of people. I'm not a reseller. All right, let's pause the video for a second because most of you guys are probably like, oh, if you didn't even want the Supreme Foam Posits, then why did you go for them and try to win them? It's because I did my research like what I was saying. Somebody just won what I was going there for, which was the Yeezy V2 Belugas like 10 minutes before I got in there. So that means the threshold is going to be reset back to zero. And I'm not gonna spend a thousand or whatever the threshold they set to win a pair. So I looked and saw what was the next best thing I could win and it was a Supreme Foam Posits. So y'all can hold that if you guys think I'm just a reseller. All right, let's continue. But I'm gonna sell shoes that I don't really want in my collection, but that's, that's basically how it is, so just, now you guys know how it works. So go try at your local sneaker store if you guys have it. I know there's none in Montreal, which, which sucks, but when I go back to Toronto, it's definitely fun. But the thing is, it is rigged. So don't, don't go there and try to think it's all time based and make sure you actually have a decent amount of money and sit and wait. You can sit and wait and hopefully the person is reaching the threshold and then you might get lucky and go in but also you can take the risk of having someone else win before you clearly so that's how it works now you guys know how the key master game works it is rigged but you can still win and you can see other people on youtube have shown that they have won and you can definitely steal a very exclusive pair of sneakers at a very very good price so how you guys know it's a little short video about the key master game Trude Hendrix out. Thank you.